We'll now take a look at solving linear form questions. And this is that we're going to be able to solve systems of equations that aren't linear, provided we can change or transform them into something we call linear form. So let's take a look at a system of two equations, and we should be able to see that the variables here are 1 over x, 1 over y. So that, technically speaking, these equations are not linear, since the powers of x and y are both negative 1. And remember, just recall that 1 over a variable is just that same variable to the negative 1 power. What we can do, though, is we can transform these nonlinear equations into a linear form by defining new linear variables. So I'm just going to define that my variable u is going to be 1 over x, and w will be 1 over y. So everywhere I see a 1 over x, I'm going to replace it with u. And everywhere I see a 1 over y, I'll replace it with w. So our nonlinear equations will now become linear. So instead of 5 over x, I now have 5 times u. And remember, we replaced 1 over x with u. And instead of 6 over y, I now have 6 times w. And then also, instead of 7 over x, I have 7 times u. And instead of 9 over y, I have 9 times w. And this is definitely a system of linear equations, but remember, our variables are now u and w. We can now go ahead and solve this system of linear equations. And I'm going to use the technique where we're going to focus in on the u variables. So I'm going to want to make the coefficients for both of these u variables the same number. So I'll multiply the first equation through by 7 and the bottom equation through by 7. By 5, sorry. So if I take 7 times 5u, that's 35u. 7 times 6w is 42w and 7 times 7 is 49. And then multiplying through equation 2 by 5, 5 times 7u is 35u, 5 times 9w is 45w, and 5 times 10 is 50. And then since the coefficients here are both 35, so positive 35u and positive 35u, we can subtract our equations. So 35u minus 35u will be 0u, 42w minus 45w will be negative 3w, and then 49 minus 50 is minus 1. And when we rearrange this, we'll divide each side by negative 3, and 1 divided by negative 3 leaves us the answer w is equal to 1 third. We can now solve for our u variable from the system of equations. We'll take our w answer and solve it into the highlighted equation. So 5 times u plus 6 times a third is equal to 7. Doing our little bit of algebra and rearranging, our u comes out to 1. So now we've solved this system of linear equations in u and w. So we have our answers for w and u. But remember, our original equations had x's and y's in it. So now we're going to have to take our u and w answers and transform them back into x's and y's. So remember we had the definition u is 1 over x and w is 1 over y. And when we take our answers for u and plug it back in, and take our answers for w and plug it back in here. So let's go ahead and do that. So remember u was 1 over x. We got our answer for u was 1. So 1 is equal to 1 over x. So doing a little bit of algebra again, x is equal to 1. Doing the same thing for our w variable, we had defined that w was equal to 1 over y. Subbing in our w, 1 over 3 is equal to 1 over y. And doing our little bit of algebra, y is equal to 3. So the solution to the system of equations that we originally given are x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 3.